Today on the show, we're having French onion beef stew. French onion or beef stew? What am I having? Both. Let me explain. So a few months ago, I went to a restaurant and to my excitement, they had French onion soup on the menu. So I ordered it, put a nice big spoonful in my mouth and felt kind of underwhelmed. I guess I was expecting it to be a bit more on the hearty side, but this soup just left something to be desired. So after coming back home, thinking about what it needed, it then hit me. Chunks of beef. Let me show you how to make it. Now whether you're making French onion soup or stew, you need, obviously, onions. Depending on their size, you'll need about five or six sweet onions. I know I kind of went a little overboard with the onions, but um, these things have a bad habit of rotting on me when I need them the most. I don't know, maybe they're not like this where you live, but whenever I grab sweet onions, they're always in this weird UFO shape thing. Take us to your boulangerie, Athelina. And you can't attack this as you would a normal round onion. So here's how you cut it. Chop off both ends. Cut it in half like this. Remove the papery skin. And don't cut with but against the onion's ring pattern. What you want is like little half moon shaped slivers like this. Transfer it to a bowl. Rinse, repeat. Uh, the onions are making me cry. I just found out about Bob Saget's death the other day. Don't make these things worth onions. Now here I am at stove, but before we caramelize the onions, we need to get down to the meat of the matter. Oh, that's the lamest joke I ever made. You'll need about one and a half pounds of beef stew meat. First thing you gotta do, just uh, let's just uh, season them with a little bit of salt. Lightly, there'll be plenty of salt come soup time. And over here on the stovetop, I have here a super large skillet set over high heat. And um, I already added a bit of oil, as you can see by the sheen on this pan. And once it heats up a bit, grab a pair of tongs and sear these babies off. Might want to turn on the hood for this. Okay, when you get this nice Maillard on the beef... Ah! When you get this nice Maillard reaction on the beef, transfer it to a plate. Okay, once all the meat's been seared off, uh, drop the heat down to medium-low. Dump out any excess fat you have in here. Okay, enough smoke is cleared up. Let's continue. With the pan now on medium... With the pan now over medium low heat, toss in three tablespoons of unsalted butter. Then let's add in all of our chopped sweet onions. Okay, and to help draw out moisture, sprinkle everything with salt. And uh, give everything a good stir. This is why I like to use a pan with a ton of surface area. Because with more surface area, you allow the onions to caramelize quicker. And it also makes it easier to stir. Joshua. Now here comes the hard part, caramelizing the onions. This will take about 45 minutes to an hour. So, uh... Let me just put my camera on time-lapse mode and cook away. Okay, it's been, well, it felt like an hour. So, and our onions are nice and caramelized. Now, some people prefer to throw in some sugar or garlic. <coughs> crutch! But, um, you know, I'm fine, just plain onions. Now to move on to the next step. Turn the heat down to medium low. Let's deglaze our pan with two tablespoons of brandy. A cup and a half of white wine. Make sure you scrape off any of the caramelized bits stuck to the bottom of the pan. Now let's add a cup or two cartons worth of beef stock. 
Yes, that seems like a lot of liquid, but remember, this is a stew. We are making stew beef. Speaking of which, add this to the pan. All right, let's add a few more things. One teaspoon of cracked black pepper. One or two sticks of rosemary. And uh, here's my secret. Uh, for a bit of umami, one tablespoon of soy sauce. Bring this to a boil over high heat. All right, bring it down to medium low. And in order to tenderize the meat, we're gonna braise and simmer it for one hour. All right, our soup is done. Let's, uh, all right, let's remove the sticks of rosemary. But before we plate up, let's take care of our croutons. Take two slices of French bread, brush side with clarified butter, then toast them in a pan over high heat. And uh, while that's toasting, turn on your oven's broiler to high. Uh, while that toasts, let's uh, taste test the soup. Just a tiny splash of soy sauce. Next, grab yourself a heat-proof bowl, pour in our soup, but leave some space for our croutons, then add set croutons, then top it off with a generous piling of Gruyere cheese. Stick it in the pearl until the cheese melts and it looks slightly crusty. And that's how you make French onion beef stew. And uh, to any French people out there claiming that I'm ruining their culture, yes, Frenchies, it sucks to have your culture completely ruined by outside forces. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. Uh, finally include a tile card that includes my TikTok address.